Hi, I'm Matt Corker, and I'm here today to lead you through a 45-minute slow and sweaty flow class. You won't need any props, but I always like having two blocks easily available, as well as a towel to either wipe some sweat away or to pad my knees. We will also need a playful attitude today because we're getting into our hips. So let's get started lying down on our backs. Identify the top of your mat and place your head there and your feet at the back of your mat. Slowly lie down onto your back. And before anything happens, feel free to just like wiggle, shift around, bend one knee, bend the other, straighten the leg. Just get all the little fidgets out. And then come to stillness with your arms down by your sides and your knees either bent or your legs extended, whatever is more comfortable for you today to rest. So often we come to our mat with the desire to change something. And so some, today, the opportunity here is to, rather than trying to change anything, just enjoy your breath. And simply by shifting our attention to the inhale or the exhale, we can see a different experience start to emerge. Maybe that's one of greater capacity in our lungs, both in terms of volume and potential or simply just a slowing down and a separation from wherever you came from to land here on the mat together today. Hug your left knee into your chest and bend your right knee with the sole on the earth. Cross your left ankle over top your right thigh to find a figure four shape in your legs and bring your right thigh towards you, interlacing your hands behind the right hamstring. Extend the left knee toward the back of your mat, so the short edge of your mat furthest away from you. You'll notice this taps the left hip down a little bit more, and that's perfect. Create some tension by pulling a little bit more on the right leg so that the left hip has a stronger anchor point to work from. When we root down a little bit more, when we have a greater foundation, then we have more capacity or potential to actually try something new. If we don't feel that strong foundation, we're a little bit more hesitant. So really give yourself a strong lever lever or leverage point for that left knee to explore going toward the back of the mat. Then keeping your legs in this figure four shape, release your arms and your hands. Tilt your entire lower body over to the right until your left foot stamps down on the mat or on the wood or floor beside your mat completely. Take your right hand and grab your left ankle. This hand communicates down and this left hand communicates pulling your foot down into the earth, rooting it down as the left hip and left knee open up. So even though the cue is to draw your left knee towards the back of the mat, I want you to think about it originating that movement from your left hip. Option one is to stay here. Option two, tilt your, left, your right knee toward the back edge of the mat as well. Take your left hand and reach behind you for the big toe side of that foot. Yawn your right hip open as you stamp the left foot down. Take a big breath in together, and a big breath out together. Slowly release the hands, come back through figure four lying on your back, and then release both feet down. Place your palms down on the mat beside your hips, press down through the heels, make sure that they're hip distance apart. And then inhale, lift the hips high to the sky, squeeze your glutes slightly, and then exhale, lower down so the back and the hips 
touch the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up, slowly curling up bone by bone by bone through the spine. Exhale, lower down, slowly curl down bone by bone by bone until the tailbone touches. One more like that. Inhale, slowly curl up, press down through the heels to lift the hips up. Exhale, round or roll down all the way through the spine to rest. We'll do that the same thing the second side. So take your right knee, hug it in, and then cross the right ankle over top the left thigh. Find figure four by threading the needle, hands grasp behind the left thigh. Hug in as the right knee opens. And again, just the, the knee is the indication that the movement may, is maybe originating from the hip. So really focus your concentration more on opening the right hip open and your left and your right knee will be proof that you're doing that. Hug your left thigh in closer and breathe out. Release the hands on your inhale and then tip your entire lower body over to the left so that your foot stamps down on the floor just off of your mat. Take your left hand and grab your right ankle. Keep it in place like you were gluing it down and then again, originating the opening from the hip, open the right hip toward the back of your mat, the short edge of your mat furthest away from you. Option one is to stay here. Option two, with your right hand, grab your left foot the big toe side of the foot. That left knee points to the back of the mat now, yawning the left side of your body open as your chest stays pointing up towards the sky. This is a lot going on, so enjoy the form using a deeper breath. Take a big exhale here together. And then release the hands. Come back through lying on your back in all four. Release your right foot down, hip distance apart. This time, bend your elbows beside you. Fingertips point up, palms face each other. As you inhale, lift the hips bone by bone by bone up the spine to come into that mini bridge. Exhale, lower bone by bone by bone by bone by bone. Slowly rolling down until your tailbone settles. Two more like that. Inhale, push down through the heels to lift bone by bone by bone by bone by bone up. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, lower slowly, 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 bone by bone by bone all the way down as if you're carving out more space in the spine. Inhale, one more time. Inhale to lift up as if you're opening, yawning, open the spine. Exhale, curl down. I like to think like I'm rolling dough, using a rolling pin all the way out, getting all the good stuff flat onto the spine. Hug the knees into the chest. Begin to rock and roll forward and back, forward and back, forward and back until you come into Navasana, boat pose. Take a big inhale here, and then straighten your right leg forward. Let it hover about two inches off the mat. Lift your chest even higher. Exhale here. Inhale draws that right knee back into place. The exhale will extend your right leg forward. Inhale, draw the right knee in, lift the chest. Exhale, kick the right knee forward. Inhale, so lift up, lift up, lift up. Exhale, kick it forward. Now, externally rotate your right leg so your toes point out to your right, and then bend the right knee so that the shin rests parallel to the front of your mat. Then swing your left leg out behind you to come into a double 90 degree shape. So what we have here is in your front leg, your front shin is parallel to the short edge of your mat, and your back leg, the back shin is parallel to the long edge of your mat. With this, we're gonna sit nice and tall. You wanna think about your left hip yawning open toward the top right corner in front of you. Begin to twist, yawning that hip open, and I like to stay upright in this variation because I feel like it gives me more sensation to work with, to communicate to. And the other variation is to walk your hands forward and come down onto your forearms. 
You can choose that variation if you'd like. For me, I'll stay upright. Think of this as an upward spiral and you wanna go all the way up through uh, the accumulation of it being your vision upward. Take a big breath in and you'll slowly look to the left, rock all the way over to the other side. Now your left shin is parallel to the front edge, your new front edge of your mat and your back shin your right shin is parallel to the long edge of your mat. Again, yawn your right hip open, walk your hands over to the left, stay here, or you can come down onto your forearms. I like to stay upright so that the upward spiral, that motion of the experience can be up. It can lift you up. It can be uplifting, if you will. <laughs> Think about yawning that right hip open, take the spiral all the way up, let it accumulate with your vision. Looking up to the left. Take a big breath in here, and then you'll swing your right knee to meet the left and come into Navasana boat pose. Don't worry, there's a second side here. Lift everything up, your chest lifts up. Exhale, your left knee comes straight, Extend the left leg. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, kick the left leg forward. Inhale, lift everything up, chest lifts. Exhale, left leg straightens, engage your low belly. Inhale, last time. Exhale, kick the left foot forward. This time, lift everything up, hug your knees in, cross your ankles, roll over, come into all fours, your hands and your knees. Now, if you need extra padding on your knees, now's a good time to grab a towel to just add in some extra support. We'll go through a few rounds of cat-cow. As you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone, look to your navel and push the ground away from you. Inhale to arch the back as you look up, let the hips bones lift the sky. Exhale, curl in and round the spine. Breathe out. Inhale to look forward and up, sits bones lift. Exhale, curl in and round the spine. Find a neutral spine here. Take your right toes off of the mat like a little kickstand. Extend your left leg back like half of a high plank and then drop your, right, your left heel down to the earth. You can keep both hands on the mat this time. What we're doing is we're gonna program or we're gonna pattern a little bit of movement in our hips. So our hips right now, the left is stacked on top of the right. And what we're gonna practice with today is notice if your right butt cheek starts sagging out to the right, can you engage your right glute here so you get a, a, a more intentional stacking where your right hip is under the left, the left is on top of the right, and you can really feel that uh, engagement specifically through the right obliques to support this motion. Keep that engagement and then lift up the left heel and square your hips, both left hip and right hip in line. Let's try that again. As you inhale, you'll open the hip up, dropping the left heel down, Exhale to come into that half high plank. One more time like that. Inhale, stack the left hip open. Exhale, drop it back down. Drop both knees down, even out the shins. Cat cow to rinse it out in your spine. If you'd like to add in a little bit of motion, doing a couple barrel rolls, be my guest. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Kickstand your left foot off of the mat. Extend your right leg back. Drop the back heel down and notice, did your butt sag out to the left? Can you bring that left butt cheek down and really open up the hip? Notice the engagement of the left oblique here. With this, lift the, the right toes up to the sky, square the hips so that they're even, left and right hip points down. Then open the right hip up, stack it on top, squeeze the left butt cheek, Exhale, lower the right hip down, square the hips. One more like that. Inhale to open up, dropping the right heel down, lift the hip up. 
Exhale, square the hips, right hip down, left hip in line. Drop both knees down to the earth. Open your knees nice and wide. Point your toes back. Find Balasana, reaching your arms forward. Your head comes down to the earth. Take a few intentional breaths here and give yourself the opportunity to just integrate everything you just experienced. Slowly come back and find downward facing dog. This is your first downward dog of the day. Then know that you get to pedal out your dog, bending one knee and then the other. Notice if your shoulders are coming up by your ears, can you widen your shoulders to the left and the right? Can you draw the outer shoulders in towards the chest so that the armpits point towards the heart rather than point out towards the sides? Really bend your knee here. Lift your right leg to the sky, please. Hug right knee to nose. Shoulders come right over top wrists. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. And then lightly step forward in between your hands. Walk your hands over to the left, so much so that you come into a wide-legged forward fold with both feet pointing towards the long edge of your mat. Let your knees be soft here so that your entire body can fold over top. This is a beautiful practice of releasing the head down as much as possible. Think about yawning the backs of your legs open and let, using that yawning motion to put more intentionality on releasing the neck. It's a nice way of just saying like, let it all go. <laughs> Slowly begin to bend one knee and then the other, exploring a side lunge variation. Bending slowly in one direction, exploring your depths. And then once you come over to a bent knee on the right side, point your right toes to the, long, the short edge of your mat with your left toes still pointing to the long edge of your mat. So this is like what we'll call our warrior stance. As you breathe in, warrior two, come on up. Your chest is pointing toward the top left corner of your mat, so it's nice and open. And your arms are extended wide. Arms are parallel to the earth, and your right knee is bent. Straighten the back leg so it's nice and sharp. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, straighten the front leg and tr come into triangle pose. Right arm comes down to a block or just above the shin. Left arm can be at your hip or left arm is extended up. Now think about everything we did just before with stacking the left hip on top of the right hip. Can you find that tucking of the right sit bone so that you can open the left hip a little bit more and create a stronger foundation in which to open from? Take a big exhale here. Draw the top arm back to the back of the mat, drawing a big circle down, and then imagine it catches the back heel and lifts it up as you look forward and come into pyramid pose on your inhale. Hands are framing the front foot, front leg is straight, back leg is straight, back heel is lifted. Take a big breath in here and a big breath out. One more. Lengthen the torso forward as you tack the right hip back. Drop down onto the back knee, bending both knees, left knee down. Inhale, arms reach to the sky, breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back, right thumb on top, please. As you inhale, extend the arms behind you as if they were trying to be pulled back to touch the back toes. Lift the chest up. Exhale, plant the hands down beside you, or down to frame the front foot. Inhale to lift the right arm to the sky, lift the back knee up, an easy twist here. 
Exhale, both hands come down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to a high plank, please. Lower your knees down, lower your chest down. Point to your toes back. Baby cobra, lift your chest forward and up. Exhale, lower forward and down. Come to all fours, your hands and your knees, breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Pedal your feet, bend your knees. Explore your dog. And breathe out together. Left up, leg to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists, breathe out. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, and step forward in between your hands. Drop your back heel down. Walk your, right, walk your hands over to the right. Spin your left toes to face the long edge of your mat. Coming into that wide-legged fold again. Swing your arms from side to side this time as you bend your knees. So the movement and the control is now more focused on the lower body than weight in the upper body. Do a few more of these nice long waves with the upper body until you come to the left. Point your left toes to the short edge of your mat. Your right toes are in that warrior stance. They're pointing to the long edge of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Arms come up and shoulders settle down. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, straighten the front leg. Come on down into your triangle pose. Think about stacking that right hip open as much as possible by hugging that left hip back and underneath you. Create a strong foundation, pressing equally into both feet. Then your top arm, your right arm, sweeps back, down. Imagine there's a piece of string on your back heel that lifts that back heel up as you bring your right arm forward into pyramid pose, squaring your hips. Keep the front leg as straight as possible, your back leg as straight as possible. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lower the back knee down, your right knee down. Low lunge, Anjane Asana. Lift your torso forward and up, your arms will lift up. Interlace your hands behind your back, left thumb on top. Lift the chest as you reach the knuckles back towards your back toes. Exhale, release the hands to frame the front foot. Inhale, lift the back knee up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's put that all together. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog again, breathe in. Exhale, step in between the hands as you breathe out. Drop the back heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle pose. The back hand swims back and forward to find pyramid on the breath in. Exhale, drop the back knee down. Inhale, Anjane Asana, lift your arms to the sky. Interlace your hands behind your back, right thumb on top. Open the chest, extend your arms away from you, breathe in. Exhale, frame your front foot, breathe out. Inhale, lift the back knee up, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Come forward to high plank, inhale. Lower halfway or all the way to the earth, breathe out. Back bend of choice, cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe up. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Knee to nose, curl in. Inhale, three legged dog again. Exhale, step forward in between your hands, spin the back heel down. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, left down, right arm to the sky. 
the arm sweeps back, down, lifts the back heel, pyramid pose on your breath, in, exhale, bend the back knee down, lower it to the earth. Anjane Asana, arms and torso lifts up, interlace your hands behind your back, left thumb on top. Knuckles away from you, lift the chest to the sky, make it a back bend. Exhale, frame your front foot, both hands on the ground. Lift the back knee up, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale forward, high plank. Lower halfway or all the way to the earth. Back bend of choice, lift your chest up, broaden the collarbones wide. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale together. Exhale together. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward on empty. Step, step, or float to the top of the mat. Halfway lift when you get there, breathe in. Exhale and fold. Rise to stand, reach your arms wide and up all the way to the sky. Press the palms together at the top. Bring them down to your chest as you breathe out. Arms sweep up. Breathe in. Arms flow down, fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back to high plank, lower halfway or all the way to the earth. A back bend of choice takes your chest forward, see the potential in the world. Exhale, downward facing dog, go home. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhaling what you need. Exhaling, letting everything else go. Inhale for here. Exhale to be here. Lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step, step, or lightly float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to fold down. Rise to stand, reach your arms all the way to the sky, breathe in, palms touch. Exhale, bring the palms down through center, center of your chest. Take a moment here and just integrate, letting everything that you experienced settle. Noticing the beating of your heart, the sweat on your skin. Let it all feel really nice. We traditionally do sun salutations, which we just did. Today we're gonna to do a moon salutation variation. So come with me for the ride. We've built a lot of the pieces and now we're just gonna put them all together. <laughs> Here we go. Lift your arms up as you breathe in. Grab your left wrist and arch up over to the right as you breathe out. Come back through center as you breathe in, switch the grip. Arch over to your left as you breathe out. As you inhale, come through center. As you exhale, jump forward into a wide stance with your arms nice and wide like a star. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, triangle pose. Point the right toes forward, tip down. Sweep the back arm back, down and lift into pyramid as you breathe in. Exhale to bend the front knee, drop the back knee down. Inhale to a low lunge, breathe in. Exhale to frame the front foot, lift the back knee up, walk your hands to the left, all the way to the back of the mat, turn your left toes to face the other way, drop the back knee down. Inhale to a low lunge at the back of your mat. Exhale, hands down. Lift the back knee up. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, pyramid. Spin the back heel down. Open your right arm up. Triangle, exhale. Inhale, star shape. Open up, spin both toes to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, stand at the front of your mat. Arms come down. 
Try second side. Inhale, arms up, breathe in. Grab the right wrist, arc to your left, breathe out. Inhale through center, switch the grip, exhale over to the right. Inhale through center, exhale a big step back into starfish. Inhale, point your left toes forward, exhale triangle pose. The, back, the right arm sweeps back, down lifts the heel, inhale, pyramid. Exhale, bend the right knee down. Anjane Asana, inhale, lift up. We turn to the entire back of the room as you exhale, lift the back knee up, walk through that wide-legged forward fold, spin it around, the right toes point out, left knee goes down, inhale, Anjane Asana to the back of your mat. Exhale, lunge, frame the front foot, lift the back knee up. Inhale, straighten your front leg, pyramid pose. Exhale, spin the back heel down, left heel down, left arm open, triangle. Inhale, star shape, both toes point to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, step forward with your right foot, land in Tadasana. Let's do that all together with a little bit more intention with the breath. So take an exhale here. Inhale, arms up. Arc to your right, breathe out. Inhale through center. Switch the grip, exhale, arc to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, wide star stance with back Step back with your left foot. Inhale, right toes point forward. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, pyramid, sweeping the arm forward. Exhale, bend the back knee down. Inhale, Anjane Asana. All the way to the back of the mat, exhale. Drop the right knee down, Anjane Asana, looking to the back of the room, inhale. Exhale, both hands down, lift the back knee up. Inhale, straighten the front leg, pyramid. Back heel drops down, exhale, triangle. Inhale, star. Look to the front of the room, exhale, tadasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Over to the left, exhale. Inhale through center, switch grip. Over to the right, exhale. Inhale through center, exhale, starfish back, right arm goes out. Inhale, left toes point forward, look forward. Triangle pose as you exhale. Right arm sweeps down into pyramid, breathe in. Exhale, drop the back knee down. Anjane Asana, inhale, lift up. To the back of the room, sweep back using your lower body strength. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, Anjane Asana to the back of the room. Exhale, lunge. Right foot down, left knee lifted. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. Exhale, triangle, left arm to the sky. Inhale, star shape. All toes point to the long edge of the mat, look forward, exhale, Tadasana. Woo. Big inhale together, forward fold, let it all go. Wag your tail left and right, left and right. Let your head go. If you'd like to interlace your hands behind your back, you can do so. Have a soft bend in your elbows if that's your choice. Letting your arms release on your next exhale. Step your right foot back, your left foot back. Find a high plank. Take a big exhale here. Drop your heels to the left, stacking the hips. Come into a side plank, look up as you breathe in. Lift your right arm to the sky. As you exhale, right hand comes down, plank. Drop your heels to the right. 
Left arm to the sky. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, left hand down. Plank. One more each side. Inhale, side plank. Lift your right arm to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, right hand down, slowly plank. Inhale, hop. Side plank on the right side, left arm to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, plank. Drop the knees down. Come sitting up into your toe, a variation of toe stand. Tuck your toes, all 10 toes really tucked. And this may feel like a really big opening for the soles of your feet. That's intentional. <laughs> Give yourself an opportunity to digest everything that was standing and flowing. I like to keep my hands on my thighs here, but maybe your hands placed one on top of the other in the center of your chest feels better. Focus on your breath rather than the sensation that is being communicated to your body. So that you know that even in times where things get crazy, where there's a lot of things going on, your breath can still be a stabilizing factor. Right here, breathe in, stay with it. And breathe out. One more full breath in, just like that. And breathe out. Walk your hands forward to find tabletop, all fours. Point your toes back and just tap them out. Tap, 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 tap. Nice. <laughs> all right, here we go. The best part of class, a good old pigeon. Slide your right knee forward. Slide your right ankle across the mat. Walk your left knee back. Flex your right ankle a lot so that you come onto the pinky toe side of that foot so you're not sickling or bending that ankle. Instead of that open yawning experience that we did at the beginning of class, think about closing the hip down to square your hips forward and lift your chest up. Now option one is to stay here. Option two is to come up as high as you can and think about squeezing your knees together to create a lift all the way from your pelvic floor, all the way up through the spine, all the way to the crown of your head. Option one is to stay here, either with your hands on your hips, again, encouraging that forward motion, or lean slightly forward to be able to bend the back knee. And just like we did before, you can do one hand or two. Think of this like interlacing your hands behind your back, and you wanna kick back to lift up through the experience. Take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Slowly release, try to not fling your leg back. And if you are upright, take three breaths, folding forward into more of a sleepy pigeon. So after we open something, I really like to stabilize. So on your next inhale, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. As you exhale, tuck the back toes and straighten your back leg. Inhale, bring your right knee to your nose like we did before. Curl in and step forward in between your hands. Spin the back heel down like a warrior stance. And this time we'll come into a half moon. Walk your right hand forward and lift your left leg high to the sky behind you left hand to left hip. So after opening the hip, we stabilize it, we strengthen it, opening that left thigh and hip open. Slowly, 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 without momentum, come into a forward fold with your left foot beside your right, but hover it for an inch for a second above the mat, and then forward fold, let it all go. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold. Come down onto all fours. Find pigeon on the second side. Left knee down by the left wrist. Left ankle close to the right wrist. Walk your right knee back to find an experience. Again, flexing that left ankle. Come on up. Give yourself a lot of lift here. Stay with the breath, stay with yourself. 
or lean slightly forward to come off of the kneecap. Bend the back knee, reach behind you with one hand, maybe two hands, and kick back. So with the foot in both hands, use that as leverage to open your chest up more. Squeeze the knees towards each other to get a sense of lift all the way from your pelvic floor up to the crown of your head. Release slowly without slingshotting the leg down. And if you were upright this whole time, take three breaths on your forearms in a more sleepy pigeon variation. This time, come on up, shoulder, hands underneath your shoulders, and then tip on over to your left hip, swing your right leg around, and we're gonna come into a double pigeon variation. So, like figure four, place your right ankle over top your left thigh, and flex both ankles. So they're nice and taut. I like to wiggle the fleshy bits of my butt out to the side so I can really feel grounded in my sits bones. Now, for some of us it may look more like this, and that's perfect. The desire is to keep your chest nice and lifted, and if you'd like, you can put a block or something down just to communicate to this top knee that it's okay to release down right over top the left ankle. With double pigeon, if this is a variation you're familiar with, you can have your left hand on the sole of your top foot, the right hand on the knee, and you wanna lift as you press the hands toward each other. With this, slowly begin to bring the chest forward as you hinge the hips. So butt goes back, chest goes forward, hands towards each other. Keep all of that going on, and maybe your forearms will come down. And again, think about lengthening the spine. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck can release as well. We come out the exact same way we came in. Hands come to sole of the foot and knee to lift us up by pressing the hands towards each other. And then lean back, straighten your left leg out, your right leg out, and just windshield wiper the legs. Left and right, left and right, one at a time, you choose. <laughs> and let's do the second side. So bend your right knee first, so it's down low, and then bring your left ankle across to find your right thigh. Then as you sit tall, you'll tip forward, again, removing the fleshy bits of your butt, if you wish, and find both shins parallel to the edge of your mat and your feet very flexed. Again, if this is what it looks like for you, give yourself a prop, like a block or a blanket, just so that your top knee can rest on something. The idea here is that it's a quite easeful position for the hips rather than it causing more stress. We want them to know it's okay to release in this shape. Take your left hand, bring it to your left, or bring it to the top knee, your right hand to the sole of the top foot, press them in towards each other, hips hinge, so butt goes back, chest comes forward, and push the hands toward each other. Keep that motion. Keep that motion all the way down. Maybe your forearms come down to the mat or the ground in front of you. Stay here and chill out for two full breaths. Come back out the exact same way you came in. Hand to sole of the foot hand to knee, press the hands toward each other as you lift up slowly, 
lean back, extend the bottom leg first, then the top leg, windshield wiper, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now, the opportunity here is to pause and end your practice with a seated meditation. If you'd like to lie down into a rest pose, you can. I'm gonna take a tall seat and cross-legged. You can sit on your shins if that's more comfortable for you as well. With everything that just happened, I want you to just shake it all out. Maybe twist left and right. Give yourself a nice opportunity to rinse out anything that came, anything left over. And then softly place your hands, palms face up on your knees. Let your gaze be soft, either on a single point in front of you that isn't moving, or if you feel comfortable in doing so, close your eyes. Let go of any intentional breath control. Let go of any worry or frustration. and integrate everything that you learned today into your practice of life. Maybe today's class was joyful for you. Maybe it was challenging. Maybe it didn't meet expectations and maybe it blew expectations away. Know that it's never about our practice on the mat and more that our mat is like a mirror showing us how we react or respond to things that show up in our life. So let today's practice illuminate something about yourself that you can then integrate into whatever you do after this. I'm going to leave you here. Please enjoy your rest or meditation for as long as you need. It was a pleasure practicing with you. I'll see you everywhere.